Ayo, hey welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be throwing around some bigger swim baits. This year, I plan to throw more of those bigger swim baits because I have a swim bait rod now. This is a company I haven't tried out before, but they have some cool looking swim baits. And they said, hey, can we send you some? Sure, you can send me some. So now I wanna get more into swim bait throwing uh, this year. So this goes perfectly with you know what I want to do. So we got, this is called Backwater Candy. I'll take one of these out. And uh, you get two per pack. And that's how they come. That is, so they're pre-rigged. You can take this jig head out because this one's not rigged. So you can take it out and put it onto this one. Um, I have some screw um, swim bait hooks. So I'll put one of those on another one. But I'll show you this one first. That thing looks amazing. That's a wild color. <laughs> but I also got like a natural color one. So that's, that's this one. It's a six inch soft swim bait. I know everybody's been seeing like the Citizen 6 and 7, stuff like that. But I believe those are like 30 bucks for two of them or something. So it's kind of more on the expensive end. I haven't tried them out yet. And they sell like crazy as soon as they come out. Um, so I already, let's see. This one is called Spot Tail Magic, which is kind of like a green pumpkin gray looking with a gold and red flake in it. With some red eyes i think it's nice looking six inches wags pretty good i'll be throwing these for sure so we got this one we got this one and uh oh there's one more there's one more okay so i'll put those to the side we got this guy so that's a four inch with a um screw lock underspin type of hook already already in it So that's what that looks like. Pretty awesome looking bait. This thing is in a wild color. The single pack thumping wag is what they're called. These are called their, their wags. So anyway, trying these out. Shout out to Aaron Bates for sending these out. Um, I'll put a link to them in the description. Um, like I said, I haven't thrown these before yet. So I'll be doing like a review or something like that on them. Throwing them throughout the year and uh, giving like some feedback on how I like them and things like that. If you're interested, I'll put them in the description, I think. Let's see. Okay, I don't, I don't have the prices right now, but they're really inexpensive, especially for what you get. So anyway, I'll put that information in the description if you're interested. Okay. Unsheath our weapon of bass destruction for the day. We got that um, Aaron Bates wag on a, this is a five aughts weighted um i think that's a berkeley fusion hook and um i've been wanting you know get out throw some soft plastic swim baits and you know bigger baits things of that nature we got the savage gear browser rod rated for up to two ounces we got the slx dc with 40 pound power pro so let's see if we can get out here cast make some casts and see if we can locate some fish get a bite still winter time here but we got a 60 degree day so let's see if luck is on our side. All right, we're gonna start off casting on these points right here, seeing if we can catch any bites out of this area. I know it gets kind of deep out here right in the middle and then going off to the right. Oh man, I think cast like a dream. Let's see how our drag is doing. Feels good as far as action. I can feel that tail going. gliding through the water oh yeah this thing's action is so nice okay water is cold oh man something felt good for a second when in doubt just set the hook Man, at first I was doubting the SLX would be a good reel for this because, I mean, it's not the biggest spool capacity. Uh, I think the drag is only like 10 pounds. So we'll see how that works out whenever I hook into a fish. But as far as casting and with this rod and everything, I am, uh, am I'm impressed, you know? So far, it handles really well. This is my first... Uh, 
rod of this length. This is six foot or seven foot, my bad. Seven foot six inches. That thing is wagging in its tail. Fish has gotta eat it, right? Let's move around to some deeper areas. That had to be a tuft of grass or something. Man, that felt like a fish. There's a nice little animal hole of some kind. Hopefully nothing comes up and snatches us while we're over here. Let's try. We got one. We got a fish. Holy sh Holy cow. Holy cow. First first fish on a swim bait. First fish. Oh my god. First fish on a swim bait. Oh my god. We got a fish. <laughs> we got a fish on the swim bait. Oh my goodness. Bro. <laughs> He's not even super huge, but look. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so happy right now. You guys, what? Look at that. Look how he ate it. It is in there. I gotta get some pictures of this dude. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. He just came up and completely smacked it. Let's see if we can unhook him easily. Yeah came right out look at the bait and <laughs> look at that fish oh my goodness you can get some pictures with him wow <laughs> let's go first swim bait fish not what we're looking for but man i'm so glad to have caught one like especially when it's cold like this catching fish can be difficult but we got one <sighs> Yes, sir. First one. Oh, so happy. Woo. Man, pick our phone up. I think we got enough pictures. Let's go. We'll save that clip. Wow, man. Our bait's still holding up pretty good. I'm trying to see if it has any teeth marks on it. None that I can really see. Tuck our hook back. Make sure our point is not compromised the head's still in there hook looks good line feels good all right let's send it back out Whew. one down oh my goodness it felt so good to get that bite uh, hopefully that's a sign that these fish are centered around this area i mean that fish smacks that bait I was thinking maybe they'll be biting light. Nah, he smacked it. That beautiful line coming in. And the kicks are getting muddy. Getting some experience points. Should have worn the boots, honestly. Oh well. Gotta give me a big old swim bait box. All I had was mystery tackle boxes on standby, so. That's what we got out here. There we go. We got the purple one tied on now with the little swimmer or the little flashy on the back on the bottom. I cannot speak. I'm gonna text pose that hook just a little bit more. Just tuck it in a little bit. Let's see how this looks in the water. Oh! 
Uh, the flashy makes it where you can see it, but I wonder how they'll see that purple. Just give it a yeet and see. Yeet and find out. This water's a lot cleaner than the right side. This purple may do better. Over here. Interesting ratings on this raw. It's a quarter ounce to two ounces of weight lure wise. So I can get away with throwing this small, smaller swim bait and those bigger ones. Just can't throw like a something super massive. Up to two ounces. So I can throw like a citizen. I think the maybe the battle shad, I'm not sure. Basically, soft plastic swim baits can be yeeted for the most part. Yo, thanks for watching. If you want to see more swim bait videos, let me know. Any other video recommendations, drop them down below. Smack all those buttons, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you next time. Keep catching them.